And the last question, we send this one out to y'all. Rick Patino. Oh, snap. He got busted whopping his homeboy's wife. Now, granted, he, he did her in on a restaurant table or some shit like that. Nah, man, you ain't set it up right. There's more than a homeboy's wife. That was somebody's mama. All right, set this up. All right, set you know, it up, dog. What are we trying to wrap it up? So Not the truth. Let's get the truth. Let's get the truth. And the truth is, this lady met Patino in a restaurant. Hey. Okay, she has some. She has some sons, and she got on her cell phone and asked Patino. He said, "You a little inspirational, something to my son." So sure, talk to he him. gets on the phone and says, "You know, hey, uh, say no to dope, or to drugs, and you know, Hollywood is corrupting our children." Whatever he told them kids, right? And after that, they have some drinks or whatever. They chilled at the restaurant a little bit more. And he smashed. He smashed at the restaurant. He banged her in the restaurant. Yeah, you know, he... Was he in the restaurant or at the table in the corner? I wasn't know. there. Okay. <laughs> I just don't... I just don't went down. Though. Is it still open? <laughs> I, I want to go, that's why. <laughs> I don't think there's just old ass women waiting to get fucked. Yeah, no, is it, is it on the Food Network? Yeah, you know, shit, I'll go. Anyway, so later on, uh, uh, his equipment manager, or whatever this guy's title was that worked with Patino, he ended up marrying this lady. This lady all of a sudden wants $10 million, was extorting him. She said, hey, I'm pregnant from, you know, and this probably went on before he married her, but said, I'm pregnant. Patino said, well, you know, what are you gonna do? She said, I wanna have an abortion, but I don't have any health care. He gives her three grand for health care. And I guess, you know, his his assumption was I gave her three grand for health care. I didn't uh what she did with the money, I don't know. But she ended up having an abortion and then she married his boy and now she was supposedly extorting him for ten million or whatnot. And now the whole thing is out in the open. Question being, what's the question, dog? Should this man be suspended for a few games? A whole season? Should he be held up to a higher standard since he's dealing with people's teenage sons? Mm. What's the deal? What do y'all think? Or is this his private life and we need to just judge him by what he does on the field? Or the court or whatever. I, I, I agree with the latter. And I'm going to tell you why. It was in a restaurant. I really would like to know which one. It was in a restaurant. They're not, they're it's not, it's not, he's not on the court. He's not recruiting. He's not making phone calls. He's not tweeting, texting, mixing, whatever does that, that shit does is. That make him, does that make you think of him differently? Now it's just like Steve McNair. Does well, that's what I'm saying. Steve you different. thought of Steve McNair differently. In, so a, in a way you. I did. In a way I did. So well, do you think of Patino different? No, because my thing is, it was in a restaurant. <laughs> And it's, it's, it's sad. I'm not gonna say Where is the restaurant, man? <laughs> We've been bamboozled. Oh, oh. Where is the we restaurant? Didn't let man? Talk to him, man. Talk hey, to us. Talk to hey, us. Hey, Ru, get it off, man. I'll I, I tell you real quick. The man is a coach of a university, a, a Division I university. Right. Whether you're a coach of a high school, Pop Warner, whatever, there is morality you have to keep. You have Our to standard. have a moral standard. You do. That moral standard was violated. It was violated by others. He's not the first. So this is a decision between the University of Louisville, its alumni, its uh, boosters, what have you. In my opinion, something should happen to Rick Pitino. But my other side of me feel like he just did what, <laughs> what, what, what men would do. Yeah. Well, Rick well, Pitino, yes. The school, no. Let me just give you my opinion. Let me just give you my opinion. Personally, I come from this, This, I, I agree with Mr. Rue, but along these lines, if you're going to do one person like that, whether it's Steve McNair, Michael Fick, even Crabtree, or, or um, better yet, um, not Crabtree, but um, Crabtree, who, like, I who, who's, who's, who's the dude on um, um, Pac-Man? You know, they have things that they do in their personal lives. You know what I'm saying? They might not always be the most correct or moral thing, and they get judged by them, but we're not going to judge this coach. I mean, ask yourself, should you judge the coach or should you not? Maybe, it should, in my opinion, you should just stay out of people's personal lives. But since that's not the standard through the media, through society, why would that be the standard now? You get us, get back with us. Let us know what you think. Mr. Roo. Uh, I just say this. You know, Chop Shop family do this for me. This is a favor for us. We can't make up our minds. Hey, subscribe. I want y'all to give us your opinions. I know we don't usually talk about basketball and all these other things, but you know, shop shop, we branch out, we get out, we talk to the people, for the people, by the people. 
Y'all hit us up. Let us know what's going down. Facebook. Guess, Facebook. Yeah, check us out on Facebook. Football.com. Brandon Marshall, you lucky. And uh, if, if the lady would have killed him, because differently they, they dropped all the charges against Brandon Marshall. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, what? They just laid on him and killed himself too? Yeah. Ooh. Would you feel like you feel differently about the Chino then? No, well, it's a killing. A killing. And uh, killing and killing it is two different things. Killing is, is different. It's, just, it's <laughs> the way he died, man. Right, it was just, it's, it's just a different thing. Two fingers, y'all. We out. Chop shop, baby. Peace. Thanks. All right, I'm going to read out the top 10 people that added us to Facebook. Do it. So y'all give Do it, hood girl, because I totally forgot. Thank you. Or well, we can do top 15. I said top 20, but uh, I'll do top 10. People added us? You told 20. If you told yeah, 20, we're on Facebook, right. man. You got to get with it, man. Here we go. Here we go. The top 20, 10, whatever. What do you got? Vente. All right. Vente. The number one person that added us to Facebook was Jeff McGreeny. Jeff McCready! What up, baby? Yeah, I didn't answer a couple of your Facebook What's up, What's the names, man? Next was Andrew Field. Andrew Field, that's a nice name. name. Does it say where it's they like at? It's like a baseball name. I have to look on I the like name. I like that name, Andrew Field. Then Michael Porchetta. Michael What's Porchetta. Up, Michael? Then Vicky Porter. Vicky Porter, I know her. Didn't we go to school with her? Damn, that name. And What's up, Vicky? A A <laughs> Adrian Tishnikwitz. Oh, shit. Marcel, Marcel Young. Marcel. Richard, a, what's up, Marcel? What's up, baby? Richard Ward. Richard Ward. Like what's up, Richie Rich? Ian Reed. Ian. 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 Suleiman Ian. Riza. Suleiman Riza. Suleiman Riza. That's what killed it. Celso Lucero. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Celso. <laughs> we got the wrong name. That's Octomom. Hey, that's Octomom. Nadia Suleiman. Celso. Oh, what's up, Octomoms? That ain't Octomoms. <laughs> it is. Not in school, it's Octomoms. Celso Lacerio. You messed up. Say the name, man. Cheerio. Celso Lacerio. Celso Lacerio. What's up, Celso? What's up, Celso? Then we got a David Landau. Yeah, hey, ain't hey. that a director? Sound like you got No, that's Martin God. Landau. Oh, my bad. What's Dave, up, what's up, Dave? dog? Louis Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. What up, baby? George Black. What's up, G Black? I like that name, too. Yeah. Brian Jankowski. I like that name. Linebacker name. Ski. Ski the new. Richard the Third. Richie All Rich. Right. Rich Three. Nick, Trey. Nick Cardoso. What's up, Nick? James Crawford. Yeah. What's up, Jack? And that's it. I JC. Man, I appreciate all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, love Facebook, conversate with each other. Get at us. You know what I'm saying? And hey, ain't nothing but love, man. Go over to the YouTube site. Comment on the, on the page. Comment on the shows. And a post Do humans all of it. If you don't like what John KP Holmes. got to say, say what you got to say, man. And if no. you don't like you argue with him live and direct. And if you don't like what KP has to say, you are not alone. Man. <laughs> check out for, hey, you got to check out KP's college preview. He's doing a hell of a good job. Next week, he'll be going over another conference. The man knows his shit. Raiders, yep. we're going to break down the Steelers, no we're going to break down the Chargers, Indeed. and we're going we, we, we to... Congratulations lose. to Rob Woodson. <laughs> Who's the other uh, This is the Hall of Fame crew. Who's Bully Bob Haynes, <laughs> Ralph Wilson. Oh, man. All of them. Y'all right. You know what I'm talking about, Bruce Smith? Bruce Smith. Bruce Smith, yeah. Peace, y'all. Yeah. Bad things. Chop shit. Uh,